Hello and welcome dear students, professionals and learners to the another very interesting and informative topic on soft gelatin capsules. So soft gelatin formulation, it is a part one video in which mainly we will see the composition related information. So soft gelatin capsules are available in various sizes and shape and you might have seen these capsules, mainly the vitamin E capsule, vitamin D capsules. Uh, are available in the market from long and almost all the people and pharma professional are known to these capsules so soft gelatin capsules by definition are the soft gelatin capsules are single piece hermetically sealed made up of outer shell of soft gelatin containing liquid suspension or semi solid medication in a unit doses form so mainly these are the unit dosage forms and made up of soft gelatin shell these may contain liquid suspension or semi solid medication and these are hermetically sealed so these are unlike uh, hard gelatin capsules which are two piece capsule here the soft gelatin capsules are one piece capsule and these are soft in nature that's why these are referred as the soft gelatin capsules so every formulation has some advantages and disadvantages so mainly the soft gelatin capsules have advantages of containing the oils and unpleasant odor material and unpleasant taste material that's why these make the formulation palatable Soft gelatin capsules are also easy to swallow because once the shell touches the water, it absorbs some of the water and becomes slippery. That's why these are easy to swallow. Then rapid dissolution can be achieved for BCS class 2 and 4 drugs. That means the poorly soluble drugs are dissolved into the liquid, oily liquid you may say, or a base and that base can be encapsulated in soft gelatin capsule that's why it gives the rapid dissolution then volatile drugs can be formulated in soft caps these are also called as soft caps made in various sizes shapes and colors then lipid based delivery can be achieved like smeds self micro emulsifying drug delivery system or self emulsifying drug delivery systems for getting the improved bioavailability then for soft gelatin capsules better content uniformity is the advantage when there is a low dose drug that can be formulated in soft gelatin capsule and by that means we can have a better content uniformity because the drug is dissolved or suspended in a vehicle and that is encapsulated then also drug loss in the manufacturing is reduced sometimes due to dusting the api loss occurs during manufacturing but in capsules uh, soft gel capsules these this loss is reduced that's why dusting is avoided for potent drugs and that's why it is better for manufacturing then also it protects the drug from light hydrolysis and oxygen so it is better for the drugs which have potential to undergo hydrolysis or degradation due to oxygen and light. Soft gelatin capsules are very familiar in nutraceuticals and multivitamin preparations. Also in OTC, the soft gelatin capsules are very famous. So you can say the main advantages are these are the formulation of choice for poorly soluble drugs then for getting the rapid dissolution and that's why getting the rapid onset of action then if, if we consider the disadvantages mainly the disadvantage of sensitivity to heat humidity and microbial contamination then made up of gelatin and gelatin is an animal origin so some people may have a dietary restrictions some vegetarian people don't prefer to take these soft gelatin capsules as gelatin is the animal derived protein 
and not good for filling water based acidic or alkaline solutions generally the solution ph is required to be near to neutral because it is made up of gelatin and that's why it is not suitable for filling water based acidic and alkaline solutions these are somewhat expensive to produce then here you can see the examples herbals omega 3 curcumin cod liver oil otc products and many more are there which are available in the soft gelatin capsules vitamins are available in soft gelatin capsules mainly these are the fat soluble vitamins these are solubilized in oil and filled into the capsules vitamin a d e and k are the main examples then many of the drug formulations are there like dutasteride retonavir isotretinoin enzalutamide testosterone cyclosporin midostorin progesterone and some other formulations are there these are the size and shapes mainly round oval oblong and tube shapes are there which are available in different sizes and as per the size the fill weight varies based on the fill weight of the drug drug solution or suspension or uh, semi solid preparation these shapes are considered and size are considered the soft gelatin capsules can be produced as bilayer like two layers are there for gelatin and the capsule will become the two layered color like here it is here it is then these are available in various shapes many shapes can be there for children some chewable capsules are there mentable capsules are there okay so many of the shapes can be produced then if we consider the composition so mainly the composition is divided into two part one is capsule shell composition and another is the fill composition and in this video mainly we will see the shell composition cell composition is made up of gelatin shell is containing the gelatin plasticizer water and other excipients like opacifier color flavor and preservatives mainly we should consider the shell composition because the shell composition impacts the stability of the drug and the entire formulation so shell composition is very much important and shell composition is selected based on the fill composition and fill composition is also can be changed or studied based on the capsule shell composition so both these compositions are very much important out of this first we will consider the shell composition and it is gelatin the shell is made up of gelatin gelatin is a collagen derived protein obtained by partial hydrolysis of collagen from animal skin and bones nowadays fish skin gelatin is also available and all these gelatins have their own choices and advantages and disadvantages type a gelatin is obtained by acid free treatment of the bones and skin that's why it is called as type a then type b is obtained by base treatment and sometimes the as per the source these are called as porcelain gelatin bovine gelatin marine gelatin and it is also referred as fish gelatin the physico chemical properties of the gelatin shell mainly governed by the gelatin and the plasticizer so some of the properties are there with gelatin that's why it is the material of choice for soft gelatin capsules it is the ability to form ribbon gelatin forms a very good ribbon that's why it is used in the soft gelatin capsule manufacturing and it is the main constituent of shell then its ability to form ribbon depends on different properties like gel strength or bloom strength gel viscosity molecular weight distribution setting point and other other properties like particle size solubility and the composition so you may refer these points as critical material attributes so the main critical material attribute is bloom strength 
bloom strength is also called as the gel strength and it is dependent on the concentration of gelatin in the solution ph viscosity and the molecular weight high molecular weight will give high bloom strength high concentration of gelatin in solution will give high bloom strength and the bloom strength is also affected by ph and viscosity if you see the definition of bloom strength it is the weight in grams that when applied with a 12.7 mm diameter plunger will produce a depression exactly 4 mm deep in a matured jelly containing 6.67% of gelatin in water and bloom strength is given in the grams so examples are 50 to 300 bloom gelatin are available and out of that mainly the 150 to 200 bloom gelatin are used for soft gelatin capsules so here i have shown a gelatin bottle which contain the gelatin jelly and the gelatin jelly is made up of 6.67% of gelatin in water you may find the procedure in many of the books for bloom strength and this is the plunger so the weight required to move this plunger by 4 mm into the jelly is the bloom strength so it is one of the critical material attribute of the gelatin then coming to the gel viscosity gel viscosity depend on molecular weight grade and bloom strength so these these properties are interdependent you may say molecular weight will affect gel viscosity gel viscosity will affect bloom strength bloom strength will affect the gel viscosity and based on this the grades are there generally the viscosity of 2.8 to 4.5 mps at 60 degree is ideal for soft gelatin capsules and the retention of this viscosity is very very important for making the ribbon that is called as ribbon casting if this viscosity get decreased or increase then ribbon formation will not be uniform and that will impact the capsules so viscosity stability is the term given for retention of viscosity for the ribbon formation then coming to the molecular weight it is 10 to 400 kilo daltons low molecular weight will give low viscosity and poor capsule shells so as we have seen earlier the viscosity is important then is a setting point see setting point is a gel forming temperature at which the jelly is formed with the gelatin gelatin for soft gelatin capsule should be set at a temperature lower than the melting point then it should soften due to a heat of wedge and expand in a dye pocket by film material this is called as gelation so here are the dye rolls okay these two dye rolls are there this is the schematic representation these two dye rolls are there these revolves like this in uh, opposite direction to each other this is wedge and in this the injection field is there here are the two gel ribbons which are inserted into this cavity of the dye rolls and from here the material is blown or injected so this is the wedge and it has temperature so setting point is a gel forming temperature and the the gelatin should be able to melt or seal or expand into the cavity due to the temperature then plasticizers are there and one of the most important component of the shell is plasticizers plasticizers provide the elasticity and mechanical stability to the shell these reduce glass transition temperature of the gelatin blend and that's why the gelatin get sealed 
at lower temperature. These minimize the brittleness and cracking, also maintain the moisture of the gelatin shell. So why the soft gelatin is soft in nature? Because of these plasticizers. These plasticizers keep that shell as a soft shell. The range of the plasticizer is 15 to 30 percent of the total weight mass of the shell formulation. And the main examples are glycerol, glycerin, sorbitol and sorbitol, sorbitan solutions. Sometimes propylene glycol is also used and polyethylene glycol with lower molecular weight like PEG200 is also used as plasticizer. So without plasticizer, the shell is shell cannot be formed and if we use a less concentration of these plasticizers, then it the shell will become brittle and it will crack. Then water is there water is also act as a plasticizer and some quantity of water they should be there into the gelatin shells to maintain its elasticity and we can we can say the property of soft gel then opacifier colors and flavors are there preservatives are used sometimes based on the product requirement Purified water for manufacturing process of shell and also act as a plasticizer. Purified water used in the range of 30 to 40 percent. This 30 to 40 percent is during the manufacturing of capsule shell gelatin mass. And once the capsule shells are formed or capsules are formed and after drying, it remains in the capsule shells around up to 6 to 13 percent weight by weight. So, from 30 to 40 percent, it will come down to 6 to 13 percent around. This is not the final values. These values may vary based on the formulation. Opacifier is titanium dioxide. Colors are ferric oxide and other colors based on the product requirement. So, in this video, we have seen the definition, advantages, disadvantages, the examples of the subgelatin capsules and composition of the capsule shell. So, in summary, we can say that the capsule shells are very advantageous for getting the faster release of some of the insoluble or low soluble BCS class 2 and 4 drugs, also for getting the better absorption and better onset of action for some of the formulations or drugs then gelatin has some properties which make it ideal for use in the soft gelatin capsules like bloom strength is there so uh, for making this video i have referred the literature available on soft gelatin capsules and also i have referred the compositions of some of the formulations which are available in public domain. See, soft gelatin can also be made as chewable capsules and you might have seen the soft gelatin capsules are also available in the chloramphenicol drug composition and it is a eye ointment tube available in the market that you can see to have better clarity so thanks for watching this video do like share and subscribe to pharma learning in depth thank you